When I look around Tacoma, I see a lot of trees and I wonder, how do these trees benefit me, my family, my neighborhood, my city, our planet? There's a Chinese proverb that says the best time to plant trees was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Well, the time is now, and today is 20 years ago. another episode of Ask the Enviro Challengers, a show where we answer your questions about sustainability and the environment in Tacoma. Today we'll be answering your questions about trees. Last episode, Kate and I skimmed the surface of global warming and climate change. We discussed ways you could help and told you about what the city of Tacoma is doing to plan for that future. We were also asked this surprising question. Do cow farts really contribute to climate change? Do cow farts contribute to climate change? Do cow farts really contribute to climate change? The short answer is yes and no. While it is true that cows produce methane, a greenhouse gas more powerful than carbon dioxide, when they fart, they actually produce much more methane when they burp. <laughs> a single cow can burp 220 pounds of methane in one year. So belching is the real climate culprit when it comes to cows. Ooh, say that 10 times really fast. Climate culprit when it comes to cows. With nearly 1 billion cows on the planet, these critters make up about 15% of all greenhouse gas emissions worldwide. Does this mean that we all have to cut beef from our diets or go completely vegan? No. But reducing our meat consumption can definitely help us limit our impact on Earth's climate. So maybe try making a few meatless meals or even taking a few meatless days in your weekly plan. Let's see that cow one more time. Now let's get into our main topic. Last week we learned that one of the things the city is doing to mitigate climate change is making trees more accessible to residents. Trees sequester carbon or capture carbon, which helps us combat climate change. But there are many other benefits of planting trees as well. So in this episode, we'll be answering some questions we hear frequently, like what are the benefits of planting trees for me? I've heard this term urban forestry. What is that? And the big question, what is this tree going to set me back? Before we get into how trees benefit the individual, let's zoom out a little bit and take a look at how trees impact the rest of the world. Trees produce oxygen for us to breathe. It's pretty important. They filter small particles called particulates out of the air by absorbing them in their leaves and bark. As we zoom back in, we can see that trees provide habitat for millions of animal species, food for communities. Trees can strengthen social ties. You wanna, you wanna hang out later? No? Okay, cool. And shade for those hot, hot streets. Tree-lined roads experience slower car speeds and act as traffic calming devices. People that live near trees tend to be more physically active and therefore more likely to be at their goal weight. Trees reduce the likelihood that people will have respiratory issues like asthma and they help to reduce pollution. Buildings with trees nearby experience lower crime rates. Trees can help people increase the market value of their home. It's a, it's a nice tree you got here. I think I'll buy it. Enough talk, how much will it cost? Well, the Grit City Tree Program provides free trees to eligible residents. So, not a zilch, zero, goose egg, bagel, donut for those eligible. There are still some barriers as individuals need to pick up trees in person and provide their own tools to dig and maintain. Any Tacoma resident can apply, but the city will give priority to residents of underserved neighborhoods and areas of the city with the lowest tree canopy. In the past, trees were not planted around the city with equity in mind, meaning that while some areas of the city have denser tree canopy, others have coverage as low as 2.9%. Therefore, it is vital that the city provide resources to support tree growth in those communities. Tree Coupon Program offers Tacoma residents a coupon which is valid for $30 off each tree purchase for up to three trees. 
Coupons are valid October 1st, 2020 through March 31st, 2021. Taxes are covered by the purchaser and the coupon is only valid for trees. Be sure to check cityoftacoma.org slash urban forestry for resources, details, and info we are not covering here. What is urban forestry? Trees along streets, in parks, open spaces, backyards, and across the city provide many benefits and constitute an urban forest. Currently, Tacoma has a tree canopy of about 20%, which is unfortunately the lowest of all the cities that were assessed in the Puget Sound region. In order to meet our goal of 3030, we will need to plant about 100,000 trees in the next 10 years, which is a huge goal. So we're gonna need your help. So how much will it cost to water my new tree, you're asking? Starting a new tree will use almost 400 gallons of water in a year. I called Tacoma Public Utilities, TPU, and asked how much water costs and their rates work out to this. The average cost is $2.13 per CCF in the city. A CCF is 100 cubic feet of water, which is about 748 gallons. That works out to a little more than half of one CCF. So if we multiply $2.13 by 53%, we get a total of $1.13. I can probably find that in my sofa cushions. So how do you choose, plant, and maintain a tree? Once you have a tree, the city offers lots of resources to help you plant and take care of it. You can choose from a multitude of online resources on the City of Tacoma's website. We have postcards and helpful guides that can help you choose, plant, and maintain your tree. You can also attend an Enviro House webinar to learn more about how to care for your trees. Our upcoming workshop on shade trees will happen on September 23rd. Look for future webinars in EnviroTalk. And now, an art project by Gator. Weather and health permitting, head on outside and collect three or four, maybe five leaves or pine needles. Try to find some different ones with different textures. Start with some leaves. Try to find different shapes and textures. This one has a really uh, rigid edges. This one looks like a hand. And then I want you to find, see if you can find some bark and some moss and a stick or a, and a, maybe a pine cone. I don't want you to pick them off the trees. I want you to just find them on the ground. It's that time of year where leaves are gonna start falling anyway. There should be plenty out there. Okay, now we're gonna gather more materials inside, so let's go. Blank paper. A few different color crayons peeled. And your materials from outside. Pick one item to start. Cover with your blank paper and press firmly. Take one of your crayons and using the side, not the tip, lightly, with a little bit of pressure, rub over the paper with the leaf underneath. This is called relief rubbing. And you can see the leaf underneath start to take form. The higher ridges will come out. And what you can do is you can add a little extra color with a different one. Kind of give it some highlights and a different color. Okay. And then you can pick another item. Let's take our bark here and put that underneath there also next to it. And using a different color. Rub again. Let's try our pine cone. It'll be a little weird, but we can try it. Should have some cool texture. It might not be as easy to do. Be a big challenge, but you got some of that texture on there. And one more leaf. This one's got the nice teeth on the edges. Let's see if those will come out. Oh yeah. You can see the structure of the leaf. Let's see. You can really see those. And that's your project. And now for our surprising question of the week. What is the largest thing ever recovered from Tacoma's wastewater treatment plant?
We'll do some research and answer that one next time on Ask the Enviro Challengers. Thanks for talking trees with us on another episode of Ask the Enviro Challengers. If you do have questions for us, please email us at envirochallenger at cityoftacoma.org. And maybe we'll answer your question on the air next time. We'll see you next time on Ask the Enviro Challengers. Making some sick gains here today. Just getting swole. <laughs>